In this video we're going to take a look at a couple different ways in which you can identify whether functions are quadratic or not. So for this first uh, group we've got a table that lays out some ordered pairs that could make up a function and we want to tell if it's quadratic or not. Well how we do that is to look at the second differences and of the um, range value, the y, and if that is consistent, if that's constant, then we have a quadratic function. So the second difference is, well, remember to determine if something is a linear function, then we look at the first differences, where we just figure out how, what's the difference between one to the next, and we have to check both the x's and the y's. So in this one, we'll check the x's first. So this is plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. Okay, we're good there. Then we have to check the y's. So from 0 to 3 would be plus 3. From 3 to 8 would be plus 5. From 8 to 15 would be plus 7. And from 15 to 24 would be plus 9. So those are the first differences. Well, they're not the same, so that means it's definitely not linear. But let's check those second differences, because the second differences are what is going to tell us for sure whether it is quadratic or not. So 3 to 5, well, that would be a difference of 2. From 5 to 7, that would be a difference of 2. And from 7 to 9, that's also a difference of 2. So the second differences, which we have here in green, are constant, which means, yes, this is quadratic. That is a quadratic function represented by those ordered pairs in the table. Okay, sometimes we might be given a set of ordered pairs like this. The process is the same. We want to check and see if the second differences are constant. First we check the x values. Those have to be constant. So 0 to 1, that would be plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. Okay, so we're good on the x's. Then we need to check the y values. So I have to find my first difference in order to find the second difference. So let's find those. 6 plus 12 would be plus 6. 12 plus, or from, to get from 6 to 12, we add 6. To get from 12 to 20, we add 8. And to get from 20 to 30, we add 10. Okay, then I'm going to take the second differences. So that means I'm going to take the difference between each of these. So from 6 to 8 is plus 2, and from 8 to 10 is also plus 2. So that means, yes, it is quadratic because those second differences are equal. Okay, now another way to identify quadratic functions is to look at the equation itself. And here we have an example, and what we need to look for is an x squared term. There has to be an x squared term and that has to be the largest exponent that we see within the equation. So as we look at this one, do we see an x squared term? Nope, we don't. So this is not a quadratic function. Not quadratic. Okay. So and then we look at this one, we're looking for that x, which is squared, and in this case, eh, sure enough, there's one that's squared. That is the largest exponent that we see for an x value, so this is quadratic. So this is quadratic. Okay. Be on the lookout for things like this. That would be an example of something that is not quadratic because this, first of all, the x isn't squared. The y is squared, but we've got that power that's larger than 2 here. So this is not exa an example of a quadratic. Also, in this case, this is a linear because each of the variables is just to the first power. Okay, so identifying quadratic functions, if we're given a table of values or a set of ordered pairs, we look at the second differences. Make sure the x values have the same difference, a constant difference, but then look at the y values 
and we have to have a constant second difference. So find the first differences like we did here in pink and then found the second differences. In both cases they were the same so that meant that they're both quadratic functions. It doesn't always have to be plus 2. Sometimes it could be plus 3, plus 10. Uh, there's all sorts of different options so it's not just plus 2. Then if we're given an equation look for that x squared as the largest term, the largest uh, exponent and if we have that then we've got a quadratic. Hopefully this video was helpful. Keep working hard on your math. You can do it.